I'm Laura GB and this is day three of my 12 days of components. Today we're going to look at using a table input to add some flashing colours to our Christmas tree. So on day two we added a input into our component. So here we are, we've got a Christmas tree and it's got a bauble colour. This time what we want to do is we want to modify this component to take a list of colours and to cycle through those colours. So let's go back to our components and on day two Christmas tree I'm going to as before click on the three dots duplicate and I'm going to rename it. There we are day three Christmas tree. So on our custom properties we want to remove that custom property. So to remove it, we click on where it says text. And if we scroll down, there is a link there that says delete custom property. And we delete that. Now that's going to cause a problem on our tree for a moment, but don't worry, we'll fix that. So we're going to add a new custom property. And what we're going to do into there is we are going to put in a property called bauble colors. Let's copy that, paste it into there and let's take out the space. Description is going to be list of colors for the baubles. And that's going to be a list of hex colours for the baubles. So it's going to be an input. Now the important part here is the data type. We're going to change that data type to be a table. Okay. And we're going to click create. So there we are, bauble colours table. And if I click on bauble colours... Up there on the formula ribbon is a table example. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in um, three colors. So I'm going to call this um, B color, and then into here I'm going to put in hash. Let's go for red, green, and blue because that kind of makes that's easy to type in. So red, and then put some curly braces. So the rest of that I don't need. Okay, but I want to put in more than one row. So I'm going to copy that, put in a comma, paste it in, another comma, paste it in, and then let's just quickly fix those colors to be red, green, and blue. Okay, so that's set my bauble colours to be those three. Right, now, let me explain how this is going to work. Let's fix this tree just for a moment. Let's say I want that to be the second colour in there. Okay, so to get the nth colour of or an nth item of a list, the way you do it is I can get you the first nth rows and then you take the last one of those. So we do that with last as a function. And then inside last, I used first n. And the first n is going to be of parent dot bauble colors. Now that's not quite right yet because that gives me a record. So if it gives me a record, as you can see down the bottom here, let me just move that up a little bit so it's a bit closer, so you can stay zoomed in. So if you look here, it says record, okay? So if I put a dot in, that allows me to now pick the values in that record. Well, there is only one value, it's B color, okay? So there we are. First end by default picks number one. So if I put in, so at first N, if I put in a number two, there you are, I get bright green. Number three, 
I get blue. So we need a number there to cycle through the different colours. OK, so in order to cycle through something like that, we're going to need a timer. From the insert ribbon under input, we're going to go and pick a timer. Now, it doesn't really matter where it is because I'm going to make it invisible in a moment. But the important things on a timer over here on the right in the properties, the duration that 60,000 is 60 seconds. Well, I don't have to wait a minute for them to change. I actually want to check them to change every second. So that goes to a thousand. Do I want it to repeat? Yes. Do I want it to auto start? Yes. OK. So that that's all, that's all working, right? So now I want to put in the code that will run every second. So under action, you can go for on the timer start or on the timer end. I'm going to go with on the timer start so that I know it's set up from the beginning. So on the timer start, so off the action ribbon, it says false. So what we're going to do into here is the obvious one to do is to set a variable and add one to it. OK, but obviously, if we just keep adding one, it's going to get longer than my list of colours. So what we want to do quickly first is do a quick test in an if. And let's put a shift return in. Let's expand the formula bar down. There we go. So inside that if, the test we're going to do. Now I'm going to call this VV bauble color number. I use VV to illustrate that it is a variable. And we're going to go, is it less than however many rows? So if we go count R, oh, there we are, count rows in this components dot bauble colours. OK, now there's a squiggly line under VV bauble colour number because there's been no definition for it yet. But don't worry, that's coming. So if we put a comma in. Another shift return. Right, what are we going to do if it is less than the number of rows? Well, we're going to add one. So we're going to use set. You can't use update context inside a component. You have to use set. So I'm going to put into there VV bauble. Because it's not defined, it's not coming up, which is a bit of a pain. But anyway, VV bauble collar number. And what we want to set it to, I'm going to copy that because I don't fancy typing it in again. Plus one. OK. I could have put a return after that comma. Let's make it nice and tidy. A shift return after that and close the round bracket. And in another comma. OK. This one is going to be remarkably similar to the previous set. So I'm just going to copy that. And paste it in there. But it's not going to be VB bubble color plus one. It's just going to be one. OK. And then I can do a shift return and a close brackets. Let's expand that down a little bit. There we go. So there is my full formula. It's got rid of all the reds because we finally finished doing all the sets and it's happy now. OK, so I'm going to press return there and that's happy. So now that bauble colour number, we now need to use that inside our tree. So where I've got my one there in my definition, let's expand that a little bit. OK, we're going to swap out that one for not CC. We're going to go VV bauble colour number. OK, it's coming up black because at the moment it's not yet been set. OK. Last thing to do on this component is that timer. So let's make sure we pick the timer. The timer there, we want to make it hidden. So what I'm going to do is 
turn off the visible part of it okay and then let's go back to our screen let's move some trees around here and let's insert our day three Christmas tree resize it and let's press so let's click onto there my bauble colors if I click into there I've got a set of colors I could add more colors of that that could go to a collection all sorts of things but I'm just going to press play to preview and there we are there is our flashing Christmas tree so that was adding a table input into our component if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now mm -hmm.